Let's get acquainted with GUI Editor with making a simple interface. It will help you to understand all functions of Editor tabs. We'll create a new project by pushing the New Project button or File New Project. In the main settings of the project, we indicate its name and resolution of a target device. We select the resolution of a target device depending on the device where our project will work. Let's select, for example, iPhone of the third generation. Then we indicate orientation on the device, landscape or portrait. We also select a name for a new page. So you can see the first page of a new project now in the working area. In the project overview tree, we can see the project. It's a folder with pages and pop-ups the project contains. In this tab, we can add a new page or a pop-up. The difference between a page and a pop-up is that a page is a basic element of the project and you can open one page at a time and a pop-up is movable. It can be transparent. You can shift it, show it over the page and place several pop-ups on one page. That means while creating an interface, it's convenient to make one or two basic pages. Other intermediate data can be put on pop-ups not to overload the interface with the extra images, as backgrounds can weigh much. Let's pass over to the next step. It's device base. It contains all drivers, all equipment supported by the Uridium software package. There you can see native drivers written in C++ and deeply integrated in Uridium. Their customization is simple and convenient. There is also a base of script drivers. Their settings are described in the drivers themselves or instructions to them. Let's pass over to the project device panel. It's a base of devices which are used in our particular project. To make the project tree, which includes all drivers working in the project, you should drag necessary equipment and devices from the Iridium device base to the project tree. So all the devices will be shown in the drivers tab. Here you can not only add devices from the base, or you can input them if you work with Canex, Crestron equipment, or if you have already created projects from which you would like to input a driver. GC Cloud is our new tool. It allows you to get code sets of IR commands from a cloud data of the global cache company. So it's a tool which allows you to take a global cache converter and drag it to any complex of IR commands which you can find in the database without additional settings. So how does it work? We select a global cache converter. I hope you can find out what it is and how it works on your own. Then we drag necessary code sets on IR output of Global Cache. It's created as a separate device. Its commands are set up according to the settings of the IR output. So before dragging a new device, you should set up the IR output first. Next step gallery, from which we can add a new item to the project. Adding of this item can be done by the drag and drop method. So I have just added a customizable item to the project. This item level allows you to regulate the variable values in the preset range. It should be noted there are two main tabs in gallery. The first one, Iridium gallery, including standard images of Iridium and project gallery. Here you can find only images used in the project. And as I have just done, at first I used then I deleted this image. Maybe I'll add it to the project later. And it's very important to use to delete unused graphic objects and images from time to time using the delete unused files button. So let's return to the tab of main images and describe its functions briefly. You can add and import a folder here so you can take any graphic item and with the help of import, add them to the Redem gallery for using in your project. 
You can also add an image to the working area of the Redium GUI editor from your desktop or from any folder using the drag and drop method. So let's close gallery for some time and pass over to creating any basic item. Here you can see two tools, select and draw item. For example, I'll create a button. Button is always a basic item. I'll set up its properties. In general, properties of the graphic item I set in the object properties tab, which is a part of the project overview view window. In the general tab, you can set up size, position, behavior, and specific properties of button, its type, feedback type, and hit, that is reaction on hitting, but these characteristics are specific. There are lots of them and we'll talk about them later. For example, let's have a look at button with two states which react on hitting. The programming tab is used to place events, for example, let's create a command for the press event, it's a pressing on the graphic item. We open the macros window and see a list of commands in its right corner. We can activate commands by pressing on the item, for example, to show, hide pages, play sound, send data to the driver and read data to tokens and some other events. Let's close this tab for some time and pass over to the next step, state. Here you can set up states of the graphic item. Every button has two states. So in the states tab, we see a list of two states and all states which affect all states of the graphic item. For example, here we can change the color of the button. Now you can see it. Color its first state. We can change its opacity. And now it's completely transparent button or now almost transparent. This property in contrast with color alpha channel affects full transparency of the item. That means the image assigned to the button, its text and everything on it will be transparent. Here you can change the text of the graphic item. You should write it here. In this tab you can assign images to the items. All images can be divided in three types. Item image is used as a base. Any picture from local project gallery can be edited here. Icon image is a picture which you see over the main image. And chameleon image is a very complicated type of images. It transforms red and green channels of images in the PNG format to different colors. That means it's a button of randomly customized color. You can read about it on our wiki instructions. Let's imagine the following situation. We need to open any page by pressing on some button. So by the press event, the graphic item send the show pop-up command. Here you should select a pop-up and then confirm creating of the macro command. Now in the emulator, we can check what we have done. We launch a Redium client. It's an application for Windows. Now it's demonstrating us work for Redium in the fully functional mode. Now, after hitting the test button, a window must open and it's opening, so the button has worked correctly. With the tools and toolbox, I'll describe it briefly. You can regulate position of graphic items and their alignment. Now I'm copying buttons by holding the shift button. If there are several graphic items, we can regulate their relative alignment. Distance between them. Put them in a line. We can make them smaller, larger, regulate their position of the text on the graphic items. You can display a border on the page of graphic items. You can show a number of assigned channels and commands enlarge or diminish the scale of the project. It's very convenient when working with high resolutions. You can display a grid, set up specific properties, we'll speak about them later. You can copy pages, add them, redo and repeat changes. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention.